today i want to talk about the dysmenorrhea what is dysmenorrhea dysmenorrhea is a pain during the menses so usually it is seen during the periods there are two types of dysmenorrhea that is one is physiological and the second is pathological physiological which is very commonly seen and uh, not to worry about the physiological menses which usually happens to everyone and that is very common and pathological is due to some organic disorders or some diseases in the body which can cause the dysmenorrhea so coming to the physiological causes and the normal things which can happen inside the body which causes the dysmenorrhea is uh, in the adolescence when the girl attains a menarche in the initial years of her uh, menarche uh, during the periods so she might experience a little pain which is very common and it usually lasts starts at the starting of the menses and it usually lasts within 24 hours of the period so sometimes in some people it can start 24 hours before the periods and then it can last for 24 hours after the periods and it usually does not alter your daily routine then it is called a normal uh, dysmenorrhea it usually does not require any treatment so with uh, routine uh, regular water intake and hot water bath and sometimes mild painkiller can be used to relieve this uh, dysmenorrhea Uh, coming to the pathological dysmenorrhea uh, so it is not a normal dysmenorrhea it is a abnormal dysmenorrhea or abnormal pain during the menses which actually requires the treatment so what is this abnormal dysmenorrhea where the pain will be very severe so that you will not be able to carry out the routine activities either you are not able to attend the schools or you are not able to attend the colleges or if you are working you are not able to carry out your routine activities so then that is called as uh, abnormal uh, pain during the menses which is called as pathological dysmenorrhea so coming to the causes of the pathological dysmenorrhea so usually any masses in the uterus usually fibroids or adenomyosis in the uterus and the second one is a infectious cause that is a pelvic inflammatory disease uh, third one is a endometriosis all these three can happen in married women or unmarried women also so uh, any uh, such things where uh, the pain starts after the onset of the menses and it usually sustains for 3 to 4 days of the periods or sometimes up to 5 days then it is called as a abnormal dysmenorrhea and uh, uh, this requires a treatment uh, so if you want in detail about this definitely i can talk in the next video thank you